Hello, hello, it's Kitty, proud to be your thought organizer at Declutter the Brain, helping you to organize your space and streamline your thoughts so that you can focus on being more profitably productive. And don't forget, it doesn't, uh, uh, profitable doesn't have to always be about money. You can have a, a rich life, rich health, rich relationships. Mm -hmm. So you want to be keeping your mental energy for the stuff that really matters. And clutter, frankly, is very distracting. And if it's mental clutter, oh good heavens. And that's pretty much the category that we're dealing with this week when we are talking about decluttering toxic relationships. By the way, and thanks again to all of you who who tune into this video and even open the email in the first place. I know who you are, by the way. <laughs> And I'm going to be sending sending out a lot of shout outs to y'all because I really do appreciate your 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 you are a big part of my purpose. Now, before I start to boohoo, oh, toxic relationships, yes. Uh, now they can be at home, as we talked about on Monday, where perhaps a, a family member is less less than supportive of your endeavors. And you can be self-employed, you can be going out to work, but maybe maybe they're either they're not giving you any support or there's constant criticism or nee, 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 or they're overly negative um, as far as and with feedback in the name of wanting to make make it better for you. I don't want to hurt uh, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to extend yourself. In other words, stay stuck where you are for the rest of your life because I don't want you to succeed because that's going to make me feel bad. Okay, many times these things come from their own inadequacies. It has nothing to do with you. Yes, this is new material from the last couple of days, okay? I'm expanding a little bit. Don't get me started. All right. Um, or maybe they're not giving you any encouragement at all. And you can beg and you can be, you know, don't be living for their encouragement. But, you know, uh, um, it's, ni it's nice to get every now and then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I treasure when my best friend, you know, even one or two words. That's all it takes, right? Or even just a nod of approval. Anywho, that's that's your home life. Yesterday we talked about work life and how how does that look at work? Now you can have a a coworker, you can have a passive aggressive uh, relationship with a coworker who, on the surface, seems to be helpful and oh, let me do this for you and uh, and you know why don't we do this together? And either they never come through or they only uh, do half of what they said. Or you, you, worse yet, you find out that they're talking behind your back. Um, now, maybe it's your boss who is showing little or no appreciation, and that—that's, you know, I know, I know you people. Anybody who is attracted to me, I know that you pride yourself on doing a good job. Yes, put a comment on the YouTube on the on the YouTube comments if you say if you say yes. I do a good job at work and I would like to be appreciated. I'd love to see your feedback. All right, now, today, what kind of effect is this having on your poor beleaguered brain and your self-esteem and your, and your mojo and your productivity? Hmm, yes? Okay, well, let's talk about it. You end up feeling, you can feel distraught. You can feel physically depleted. And I'm speaking from experience here, by the way. And again, no, naming no names, nothing. I'm not airing my dirt, dirty laundry. I've done that in the past, not doing it this time. Um, you don't feel or look as good as you used to. You know, your hair is, you're just not taking care of yourself. Why? Because you don't want to. You don't care anymore. Uh, you, you, may, you may be losing friends or family because you're just not the same anymore you know i miss the old me kind of thing maybe you're walking on a sea of eggshells uh it's you never feel like anything you're doing is right uh, you lost your self-confidence um um, maybe you're afraid to propose new ideas, to push back on old ones, or share a different point of view. You're just basically living in fear. Life is too short, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we start to take action on all of these saboteurs, and that's what they are, saboteurs. 
and we ask ourselves a very important question. Is this a problem worth fixing? We're going to deal with that tomorrow. In the interim, if you haven't done so already, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter, and let's chat. I know you're watching the, um, this clutter show because you're you're interested. Uh, someone is in your life, whether it's you or someone else, is, is being affected by clutter. Let's talk. Let's solve the problem. I now have uh, three programs for any for any length of time that you want to uh, spend on it and any budget. Let's talk, shall we? Until tomorrow, thanks again. Have a great day. Bye for now. <laughs>